I'd like to spend some time and show you melodic motion etude number 49. This one is just a sequence running through the key of one flat. We're going to start here at the nut and move up until we're at the 13th and 15th fret. If you've not yet done so, I would ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the material here. I try to make things like this available every day. If you have ideas for videos or topics that you'd like to see, please let me know. Like, share, and leave a comment. If you'd like to leave me a tip, that would be much appreciated. My PayPal information's in the description below. And let's get started with Melodic Motion Etude number 49. So again, it's a sequence. So we're gonna go through every step of the scale and apply the same mechanism. So which we're gonna start with a 10th in each case and descend two scale neighbor pitches and then we're going to leap up a sixth so in this case with b flat first fret d third fret we're going to come down three one third fret of the third string and third fret of the first string that's the basic mechanism i'm using a bar so first and third finger one and three, one and one, one and three, and then one and four. Those are the fingers. Now because it's in the key of one flat, we're gonna, our B flat chord and our C chord are both gonna be major. So in this case, it's the exact same. Three and five, three and three, three and five, three and five, fingers little finger, I guess you could use third finger, little finger is okay, I end up like that with first finger, third finger, little finger, and now we get so D with an F, five and six, lifting off to the bar at the fifth fret down to the seventh fret third string and up to B flat at the sixth fret of the first string. Part of my reason for developing this particular etude was to try to help you become aware of the different registers or voices we could use that writing of Bach, he'll have something working on the inside and a different instrument will have something higher and maybe a voice will have something higher still. There might be a lot of different lines happening from different instruments in slightly different registers. So rather than thinking of this as one one big uh, block of chord we could think of these as separate voices which is really what improvising in two voices is and it's what this channel is mostly about so those were to me two different it's as if we had a viola and then a, a violin maybe while this is ringing So, same pattern, up a whole step. And you really want to be seeing the key. See the key of one flat? Here's E with a G, seven and eight. And here we 
come down to F and E on the third string, tenth and ninth frets. And we leap up to C on the eighth fret. Now we need the one for F major. And so it's just like the ones we had previously for major chords. Eight and ten, eight and eight, eight and ten, eight and ten. Now we need G minor. So makes me want to play. 10 and 11, 10 and 10, 10 and 12, and 11 on the first string. And now for A, A and C, 12 and 13, and then 15, 14 up here, B flat and A, and then F we're leaving off, is our sixth. And the last one would be major again, just like we started. 13, 15, 13, 13, 13, 15, 13, 15. So I hope this has been somewhat interesting. Melodic motion etude number 49. I hope this finds you enjoying playing, sitting with your guitar, learning new things. Uh, please look at the playlists. I have rather a lot of them of clips organized by topic and related topics. Uh, see if there's something you find that you like there. I appreciate your kind attention and for giving a look at this. If you've waited this long, thank you so much. And I wish you as always a very good day.